Hi, I'm Harrison Berry, reporter for Boise Weekly. I'm here at Ming Studios with artist Marin Van Karai. He'll be here until his upcoming exhibition later next month. Uh, Marin, can you tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and, and what kind of work you're doing here? Uh, yeah, so I'm an artist from uh, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Mainly work on paper, create kind of installations uh, with works on paper. And I've just started my residency here at uh, uh, Ming Studios to um, uh, yeah to produce some of these uh, new works on paper, kind of abstract works uh, based on uh, details uh, of uh, clay paintings and drawings, Paul Clay. We have a few of these behind us. Can you can you tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now, and and a little bit about some of these works? Yeah. Um, well. Um, so I, I finished this week uh, the first piece in the back hanging on the wall. Um, with the other one I'm still busy. What I do is kind of I, I start with uh, making some sketches um, of fragments of, of uh, existing uh, paintings and always from books. So from uh, they are always already reproduced images. Trying to find interesting details within these uh, images uh, already quite some changes occur um, which I think are all part of the process and then in a sort of, at a certain moment I, I start to uh, uh, set out this grid on a, on a big uh, sheet of paper and um, uh, first with a pencil drawing and then start to uh, fill these, uh, these uh, fragments in with uh, gouache paint. Um, and uh, you'd mentioned Paul Clay. Uh, what drew you to Clay's work? Started off with uh, paintings of Picasso. Clay uh, interests me uh, direct way of painting. Uh, he was kind of uh, searching also for this very childlike uh, way of expressing himself, like in a very direct way. We're here with uh, Jason Morales from Ming Studios. Uh, Jason, can you tell us a little bit about what Ming Studios is and how it works? Sure. So uh, Ming Studios is a international uh, artist residency program. So in effect, we're bringing artists in from other countries to visit Idaho, be here in Boise, do some work, and essentially prepare for exhibitions that we can then share with our local community. Who are some of the artists you've brought to town? So uh, we've had Uli Westfall, uh, a German artist, and uh, he did an exhibition here uh, called Cornucopia. Uh, we had Axel Void, a uh, Spanish artist and muralist, and so he, he also created some oil paintings here uh, during his time. Um, upcoming, we have a Basque artist that we're looking to bring along, Judas Arrieta. How do you get artists to come to Boise? One of the things that draws the artists here is really getting a chance to review some of the other artists we've worked with. They, they like to see, um, I, I think, the, the type of work we're representing, um, the, the, the connections we made in those regards, I, I think, is a draw. Uh, another thing that's been really, really effective, though, is um, introducing Idaho and Boise. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day out here in Boise. We decided to take uh, Marine out on a bit of a walkabout. Have you had a chance to check out this neighborhood at all since you've been in town? Uh, a little bit. I, uh, so I live now in the north end. Uh, I bike every day and uh, try out different routes now and then to, to see some more of uh, Boise. Now you dropped in in the middle of uh, Tree Fort Music Fest. Uh, I guess it's kind of a startling first impression of a, of a town. Yeah, that was great to uh, see. I think it's a great festival. Uh, and. Uh, also the combination of, of uh, music, uh, but also the, the, the lectures at Hackford and uh, uh, Storyfort. I enjoyed also a lot. So uh. Uh, Now, this project will be done uh, in relation to a song by a Boise band Built to Spill. Had you heard of Built to Spill before you came to America? Yeah, sure. Th that was kind of the... Uh, when I got invited, uh, in the summer of last year to, uh, to, to, to do this residency program in, uh, at Ming Studios. Uh, my only connection to Boise was Built to Spill, like I, I knew that band. 
uh, I'd listened to them in the past and uh, I started to listen again to the to their music especially the album you in reverse kind of uh, spoke to me again or I enjoyed it a lot to listen to that in the studio in Amsterdam when you're listening to music and hear the lyrics uh, this this will change your view uh, on the works while watching these works I kind of like this idea that they're uh, that this creates this open space in between two things which uh, suddenly start to relate to each other. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks. It's my pleasure. This is Harrison Berry reporting from Boise Weekly.